Hey all, what's up? This is Hakon from Web News Team. Today I'm back with another video on our latest add-on called Square Payment. Using this add-on you can enable your users to pay for your tickets using the Square Payment. So, don't go anywhere, just stay with me. Well, as you know, the first step is to install and activate this add-on for my name's calendar. You can see that I've already installed and activated uh, on my WordPress. The name is Max Square Payment, as you can see. All right, um, to use this add-on, first we've got to go to our Emmy Calendar dashboard on our WordPress backend, and then we've got to go to settings. And if you scroll down a bit in the booking, then payment gateways, menu, you, um, you can see that there is a new option, which is the square payment. You can just check the box for it to enable it. Um, to activate it and use it, you've got to fill in these three important fields, application ID, access token, and also location ID. Um, if you don't know what are these fields, don't worry, because we've explained them in length on our documentation on our website. I will leave uh, the link of this recommendation down below under the video on the YouTube. Um, you need to know that you need to get these um, you know, information from Square uh, itself, but as I said, we've explained it on our documentation in length. So we have two, kind, two types of modes, I could say. One is sandbox and the other is um, production mode. But because we've created all these fields in the sandbox mode, we'll just leave it on the sandbox option for now. All right, there is something absolutely important you've got to consider. As you create a Square account on the website of Square, um, your currency is set uh, on that account based on the country you live in. So in, in Monarch's calendar, after you've installed the add-on and you wanted to use it, and you enable the checkbox for Square Payment Gateway, uh, you've got to set the currency to the currency already set in your score payments. So to do that, you've got to go to settings, currency, and set the currency to the currency set in your square account. I will set it to CAD, which is CAD, for Canada, as we we'll live in Canada. Okay, after that, I'll go back to the payment gateway, enable the uh, score payment, and now I want to fill in the uh, those important fields, application ID, access token, also location ID, with the data they've already uh, gotten from Square Payment from my Square account. After that, let's go to one of my events and open it in the front and in order to register and also, I mean, purchase a ticket and see what happens. All right, as you can see, I've got two options. One is pay locally and the second is Square. I'm going to choose Square here. All right, since I have chosen the sandbox mode, I'll just enter some fake ID here for my Visa card or something. Click on pay now, and if you've done everything based on the instructions and documentation, also instructions on this video, you won't have any problems using this square payment method. By the way, if you go back to your dashboard and go to your bookings, you can see that one purchase has been completed, and you can see what gateway has been used as well here. So that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for staying with me up to the end of the video and thank you very much for choosing Madam's calendar. As always, we would love to see your suggestions down below in the comment section about our upcoming videos. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like the video if you like it, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Thank you for staying with me. See you in the next video.